What's going on, Chula Vista? Kurt Bunch of ChulaVistaLiving.com here again with another video recap of a great family event. Orange Crates ruled the hill once again for the 31st annual Orange Crate Derby Races. Practices were held on Saturday and the main event was on Sunday. I was out there on Sunday enjoying the races and one thing you really notice about the racing is everyone is there to have fun no matter who crosses the finish line first. Volunteers and family help make this a day that is really about the kids. If you're looking to get your child involved, then you have got to check out the official website, orangecratederby.com. You can find their link on our website. Every racer has to attend two separate, separate build clinics starting in June. Unlike soapbox racers that are built from prefabricated kits, Orange Crate cars are built from the wheels up with the help of friends and family. Most cars will cost you around $150 to build. Each car has a style all of its own with names like Red Baron, Mad Max, even SpongeBob is there. There are four different age categories ranging from 7 to 14. For more information and to read a special article that we wrote on the Orange Crate Derby races, be sure to check out our website, chulewisliving.com. The racing is held on Rancho Del Rey Parkway just north of Terra Nova Plaza. Al Hooper and Lee Roberts really make sure this event runs as smooth as it does. Al can be seen running all over the hill, getting kids ready to race or fixing a broken car. He wants to make sure that this is both a safe and fun event for every child, and he does a fantastic job of it. This year, I think the cars were going even faster than in previous years. I believe they said they were going about 30 miles an hour, which is really fast down this hill. There were a few, cra there were a few more accidents than, than last year. When I was out there, one girl swerved to the finish line and ran head-on into the guardrail. She walked away just fine from the crash, but her, and her car was fixed and ready to go by the next heat. Volunteers can also be found all over the track helping out. High school students earn community service hours by pushing the cars back up the hill after a race. Kids that have reached the age limit of 14 come back to help out on the starting gate and other areas. There are even cars that kids can use if they can't afford to cost to build their own. So, are you ready to get your child on the hill? Then check out our website for links and information on how you can be there next year. It's a great event and even if you don't have a child racing, it's just cool to see them race down the hill. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this, and don't forget about our community calendar. We have a lot coming up in Chula Vista this month. The Taste of Third Avenue is on September 23rd, and the Bonita Fest is happening on September 25th. I'll be out there at both events getting plenty of photo and videos for you. Remember, it's your community, your website, chulavistaliving.com.